I'm Jacques Brodeur from the province of Quebec, Canadian province of Quebec. And uh, I have been a union activist as a teacher for many years. And since 1986, I have become a very active anti-violence on the screen activist. That, that happened to me not overnight. It happened to me by a strange accident, strange coincidence. Violence is a marketing hook to catch children's attention. And parents think that their child is safe watching TV. We discovered the, 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 the conspiracy <laughs> for fun in 1986. The most violent TV programs were TV programs for kids, and the title of these two cartoon series were G.I. Joes and Transformers. Why, why would someone put so much violence into a TV program for kids? Because they want to catch their attention and keep them sitting and watching. That's the business of the media industry, the entertainment industry keep children sitting and watching as young as possible and for the longest period as possible every week every day every month all year they're in the business of catching attention and making money out of it so when we discovered this noticing that empathy among children was going lower empathy and compassion as we saw bullying increasing in all our schools in Quebec, all the schools in Canada, all the schools in the US, when you see children acting more and more viciously, violently, cruelly with one another, you search for answers. And this is what's brought us from 1986 to 2001, when we discovered that a professor from California, Dr. Thomas Robinson, had got tremendous result after experiencing a period of screen freedom. No screens whatsoever during 10 days, followed by a period of screen diet, never more than seven hours per week. We took this simple idea and we built up a program to motivate children and empower them to quit watching TV. This is as tough, if not more tough, than quitting smoking or quitting alcohol for an alcoholic person. We develop our approach to make the motivation of children even much powerful until these years, recent years where we discovered the 14 ingredients that you need to put in the formula to get the result of having 95% of children in elementary schools, 55% of students in secondary schools. That's the best we could do until now and we want to keep growing and growing for the coming years to increase the number of participants and therefore increasing the benefits that we'll discover, that they will discover from reducing screen time. Reducing screen time is tough, but it can be reached with educational material. We're, we're not in a, in a competition here to see who and who will not. No, no, we're here, are, here is the game, and here's how you're gonna earn points. It's gonna be hard. We're going to help you, but you are the player. You become, become the actor of your own life. You're not a watcher and a consumer first. You're a citizen. And you're brilliant. You, you, in 10 days, you're going to be, become more brilliant than the professionals that keep you sitting and watching every day. Good luck, folks. Any school who wants to participate in this fantastic challenge, we're open to go and give help. What do we say to the media who barely report about it? Because all the reporters who come for TV or newspaper, 
they're, they all find the idea fantastic. In France, we had a huge positive coverage. In Quebec, we had a positive coverage. It's now time to make this wonderful discovery, scientific discovery and educational discovery about quitting watching screens. Screens must not become a new slave owners. Your brain, my brain, is something that we need to train to save freedom.